Hi lovelies! We are here on Happy Home Paradise Island and that is because today is Animal Crossing Thursdays. So if you are new here, hi I'm Chazles Renee and thank you so much for being here. If you are a returning subscriber, hi my loves! Thank you again for joining me on another AC and H Thursday. So like I was saying, if you are new here on Animal Crossing Thursdays, we do Happy Home Paradise vacation home builds for one of our cute little villagers in Animal Crossing. And that is what we are going to be doing today for this speed build. We are going to be just talking with the villagers and seeing what they would like for their dream vacation home. And then I am going to build it for them. So with that being said, let's get this speed build started. Let's go visit Lottie and tell her that we wanna get to work. All right, Miss Lottie, here we are. We are ready to work. What's up? Are you looking for some work, Chasley? I'm ready to work. Okay, let's get you working. Good luck out there. All right, so we got our work uniform on. Now let's go chat with the villagers and see what vacation home they would love for me to build. All right, it says, I want my own utopia where I can eat peaches all the time. So maybe like a peach farm. And then we have, I wanna feel like I'm on a grand sea voyage all the time. So a boat build. I just want the basics and in complete with a hot spring. Um, I'm not going to be doing that one because I did a hot spring style build last week. But let's see, it'd be kind of cool to run a little factory in a small town. So factory build, let's get this recipe. Hopefully we got a new recipe, let's see. To whoever found this, I really wanted to make an item as like an homage to my fave pop star and come and came up with this recipe. I put it in this bottle. So def check out my masterpiece. You'll want to use it all the time. So obviously this is one of the pep villagers <laughs> and this is from Ruby. Let's see what the recipe is. It is a wooden full length mirror. And I know for a fact that we already have that one because that is like one of the few recipes you get at the start. And we have a lot of these little rocks on the beach, which means they are building the party scene for our final build here on Happy Home Paradise. And that is what all these decorations are. And I am going to definitely be doing content on the beach party for Happy Home Paradise. So look for that very soon. But let's go over here and let's see if there's any more villagers over here with ideas. I'll melt if I'm not surrounded by snow and ice. That one actually sounds really intriguing to me. I would love to do an ice build. I want a place to make pottery around the clock. So that would also be cool. Look at these two just over here enjoying uh, some ice cream on the bench. Too cute. Hi guys. Let's do... super cute all right so guys you probably know which one i'm going to be picking we are going to make a little ice build for a little pangy here cute little penguin and this is sprinkle and it says oh you're that person from paradise planning i've realized i need a vacay home for my happiness and that of everyone around me can you help me out let's chat Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get started. I'm so beyond excited, Frappe. That is so cute. So since her name is Sprinkle, her and she loves ice, which like ice cream, you know, it's cold. Um, her little word is Frappe, which is just so cute. Let's get this party started. For my dream vacay palace, I'm thinking of something like... 
So yeah, she has a lot of ice items, which is going to be really fun. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, Chasley. Well, obviously, since she loves ice and she loves the cold, it's obviously going to be a winter spot. So let's see. This one would actually be great for her and it's like on a block of ice and penguins love blocks of ice. This one would also be perfect for her. So I think I'm going to go with this one. What do you think guys? I think that one would be the best for her. So let's select that one. Amazing. Perfecto. I can't wait to see it. The home we prepare for you can either have one floor or two floors. What would which would you prefer? And like I say in all of my Animal Crossing Thursday speed builds, I only do one floor as of right now. Just because if I were to do two floors, this video would be way too long. Even with the speed edit, it would still be too long of a video. So we are sticking to one floor. Oh wow, what should I pick? One is trendy, the other chic. Both would work for me. So if she doesn't mind, hey, which would you suggest? So let's go a one level home. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. I'll take a one level floor, please. Now sprinkle. We found a good location and settled on the floor plan. So it's time to head out. Chasley, please lead sprinkle to the site and best of luck. She is too cute. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect spot. My vacay home will be right here. I'm super excited, Frappe. So she loves all of the ice around, which we would expect from her because she loves the ice. All right, Chasley, I'm going to leave you to it. So we're just going to step inside and see all of the items she has left for us to get started, just to get some ideas. So we have a, looks like an icy machine, the frozen tree, and the frozen bear statue. So that is what we have to work with just for reference and ideas. So this build is going to be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get this speed build started. And thank you guys so much for being here. Alright guys, so going into this build, I knew that I wanted to place most of the frozen furniture outside. I wanted to place quite a few inside as well. I just figured that the bulky large items would work better outside, so that is what I did. I used a combination of the frozen bear and the frozen trees and placed them both on each side of the house. And then I just used the snowman outside as well because I mean a snowman inside of course it but so I place them outside and then I just added a few things that I knew would be outside activities when you are typically around a lot of ice so that included a set of skis and then also a set of fishing poles because you know sprinkles might want to do some ice fishing so I put that outside as well and then I also included a jacuzzi outside because I mean she might end up getting too cold and she might want to take a deep dip in some nice warm water. So I just thought that the whole decor outside just fit together so well and I think that it worked in the end.
So starting off inside, I decided to break it down into four pieces. I mean, she wants a frozen fortress, but I still think she wants basic living necessities as well. So I decided to make one area a bathroom, one area a kitchen area, one a living space, and then lastly, her bedroom. So that is what I decided to do. And I used a lot of the frozen pillars just to break up and organize all four rooms. So with Sprinkles Kitchen, I noticed that she loves ice cream and of course penguins would because they love frozen fish. They love all things frozen and all things ice. So I made sure to incorporate two of her favorite things, one being her icy maker that she was asking for and the other one was the snow cone maker that she was asking for as well. And I ended up putting the ice cream maker on and I ended up putting the snow cone maker on one of the other wanted items that she included and that was the frozen ice bar and then I thought you know what let me give her a ice cream booth as well so that is what I did I gave her an ice cream counter and then I just finished it off with those a frozen table and chair set and then I just added the refrigerator that she was asking for and a couple of decor items on the wall. So with Sprinkles bathroom, you will see that I stuck to a my favorite color scheme and that is the pastel colors so I stuck to a pastel pink pastel blue and also some white and just some blues and purples as well so keeping true to that color scheme I decided to give her a pink bathtub a pink toilet and then a cute little vanity set that I customized pink as well and then I just added a blue rug to again add a little bit of the cool color to it and then I ended up adding one of my favorite items in Animal Crossing and that is the little pillar shelf. Um, I added that in as well and again I customized that to pink and I just added a lot of the girly items that she was asking for which threw me off as well from just sticking to the frozen items because I felt like she was asking for makeup. She was asking for a manicure set. So I'm like, Sprinkles wants to be girly too. So let's make her a house that is both frozen and comforting for her, but also very girly. So that is again why I chose those pastel colors. And that is why I incorporated a lot of girly items like her manicure set she asked for and her makeup kit. So Sprinkles bedroom, I kind of just kept it on the basic side. I added the frozen bed she asked for, but I changed it to pink to again, just match the color scheme. And then I added that wind chime that she asked for, but I put it above her bed instead of placing it in the doorway. I just thought that it would look 
again more girly and it just fit better there and then like every girly girl we have posters on our bedroom wall so that is what I did I added a couple of those Sanrio posters which are my favorite item in ACNH as well and then I also added her photo above the bed and then I just gave her her little desk and chair to do her homework or again do her nails there with her manicure set and then I also ended up giving her a wardrobe for all of her cute clothes as well. So we are coming up at the end of the build and the final room in Sprinkles home and that is the most important room and that is the living or lounge area and again I made sure to stay true to those pastel colors and I typically went pink and white aside from the wreath um, Christmas bulbs that she was asking for but again I didn't want them to look Christmassy so I just customized them to that pastel color scheme and then I gave her a white entertainment center to match and then a pink little coffee table with a set of cherry blossom bonsai tree to put on top of it and then I used that quirky table in the middle and then I just dyed it blue just again to add that cool undertone and then I actually instead of using a normal sofa I use the cafe couches so I just thought that that pastel pink would work a lot better and then it actually gave her more room to have her friends come over as well so I pushed those right up against the frozen pillars and then I just ended up giving her a little plant shelf and then I also added a little pink magazine rack for her so this build was a whole lot of fun it was right up my alley in my color scheme I love anything pastel so I really had a lot of time doing this for sprinkle and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I did
All right, lovelies. I think we are all done with the cute little sprinkles frozen home. Um, I incorporated a lot of frozen items, um, but I did most of them outside. I also wanted to keep it like a true home for her, so I added everything she needed. I added her little bathroom setup because a, quite a few of her favorite items were makeover themed items just like the little nail kit her jewelry setup so she's obviously still a little girly girl penguin so i wanted to give her her favorite things so like i said that is why i kept her bathroom pretty much on the girly side and the cute side and the same thing with her bedroom i kept it really cute and i just added the frozen furniture like the frozen bed and her little frozen chair but i changed the color to pink so i kind of stuck to a color theme as well i stuck to pastel colors and pastel colors are like my favorite colors so i love using them in belt in build so so I was really excited about using them for little sprinkles build and then the same with her kitchen there were a lot of frozen themed items she wanted but she still wanted to keep it um, like kitchen items as well so I made sure to add all of the kitchen items that she wanted to incorporate like her little fridge her little icy maker and then I added the ice cream little refrigerator as well and then her little frozen bar and then the she wanted a spice rack as well um i don't like to think of it as a spice rack i'm just going to call it the toppings for her ice cream little rack so it's just gonna have these sprinkles and all of like the little cookies and good stuff we like to put in our ice cream so that is what i did for her kitchen and then for her living room again i kept to those pastel colors and i still wanted to to incorporate some of the furniture items she was asking for one of them being the ornament like light string so i added that to the living room and then as well as the mat she was asking for a snowflake mat so i added that and then i actually ended up using the cafe style sofa and just again changing it to that pastel pink and then of course she has to have her little flat screen so i just thought it worked out really cute and it still definitely fit the frozen theme but let's see if sprinkle enjoys it because it's one thing if i enjoy it and if everybody else enjoys it but we want to make sure that sprinkle loves it because this build is again going to be the home away from her home her vacation home so let's see what sprinkles thinks is everything ready, Frappe? It's ready. Sweet! I've been waiting for this, Frappe. You spent all this time building just for me. I am so happy. Ah, you did amazing, Chasley. So she loves it, so that's great. Such a bad angle sometimes when they, they do her little re reveal on her furniture set, set. It does some of the angles are not the best, but that's okay. Because we're going to take more pictures anyways. And she's so happy. She loves it. You are such a huge help today. Ah, since you're here, do you want to hang out for a bit, Frappe? Of course, I'm going to take some photos. That's totes, both O and K. Just make sure to get my good side and give a shout out when you're done. Yeah, I feel like she's definitely a girly girl because I know as girls always say that too. We all have that one good side where we're like in pictures. I got to turn this way because this is my good side. So it's really cute that she said that. 
so we are all done with Sprinkle's little vacation home and she really enjoys it. And I had a lot of fun building it because like I said, it incorporated a lot of my favorite colors and that is the whole pastel color. So I really enjoyed this build. And I just wanna say thank you guys. If you guys made it to the end with me and Sprinkle and you guys love this build, definitely give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing because every Thursday I do Animal Crossing Thursdays. So there's going to be some kind of Animal Crossing content, like I said, every Thursday. And for right now, it is Happy Home Paradise until we get a new AC game or, or if I get some ideas to revamp my island, um, you will definitely see that on stream as well but again thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate you all until the next one my lovelies bye bye